When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, I, I truly cannot believe I'm back today with another mini brands video, but this really should be the last one for a while because the other ones that I think are coming out soon are the mini brands Master Chef, and I talked about these a little bit before. I was actually able to find more pictures of them since the last video I put out, and they really do look like those are directly competing, I almost said competing, directly competing with the Make It Miniverse, like the ones that has the gel and we cure it with the fingernail lamp and all of that. So this looks like you're gonna get miniature ingredients and then make some kind of dish. I haven't really been able to see too many pictures of the dishes yet because I kind of think that this is something that's coming out like more far off in the future, but I feel like you guys always know more than me about these things. So if you have seen more details and all of that, let me know in the comments down below because it is only because of y'all that I knew that today's item was even coming out. I have seen nothing about these like on the actual mini brands page on like Instagram or anything. Like I had no idea that these were coming out, but thankfully to y'all, y'all told me that mini brands, like five surprise, five surprise, it actually says five surprise on this packaging. Y'all said that they were doing reborns. Oh my God. I really truly could not believe it. So um, I was actually able to kind of like pre-order these back in December and I did order them through Amazon, but it was technically a place called Toy Wiz that was selling them like through Amazon. I don't know. I only ordered them that way because it seemed like I would be getting them a little bit faster. I thought I would actually be getting these like in December. I don't know why I thought that. Anyway, you guys, that is what we're doing today. Five surprise. It's called My Mini A Baby. And they say 12, yeah, 12 to collect. So this collection is not super big or anything. So I do only have two balls to unball today. Also, you guys, I was like scared to buy a bunch of these. I mean, now it's good because like when I ordered them, I did not know that there was only 12 of them. Uh, so kind of like a blessing in disguise. So I just didn't get a bunch of repeat tiny babies. But yeah, I honestly only bought two because y'all know I have been sadly like majorly disappointed with the mini sneakers and the mini fashion series three. So I was like, you know what? Just buy two, don't buy 50, just buy two. And then if they are not good, you know, you only have two. So let's get into it. Now these do specifically say, I wish I still had like a whole ball. <gasps> oh, I do, I do. Yeah, cause I swear, yeah, I have this one still to unbox on my daily Snapchat story, which if you don't follow me there, you should. I actually did get two more sneakers to unbox ASMR style over there. But yeah, look, you guys, the sneaker things, they do not say five surprise anywhere on them. So I'm like encouraged by that. Honestly, you guys, like, please ignore. I feel like my hand looks so bruised right now. Oh my God. I have like currently no feeling in my thumb. Look, story time while I unbox these. I do not know how long y'all have been following me, but if y'all are like OG Swamp Fam, I did not even have this channel at that point when I was doing that, but I made this really awesome cover. I talk about this like at least two times a year because honestly, the first time I did this, it is like my favorite art and craft that I have ever done, but it was for a Wreck This journal. We used to do like Wreck It Wednesday. I did a Wreck It journal prompt like once every week on Wednesdays. And one of the prompts, I'm explaining the story so stupidly. One of the prompts was to decorate the cover. So I got this great idea to make this like hexagon cover where I cut out a bunch of hexagons of pictures I like. Hopefully I have this photo included here so that anything I'm saying makes any sense. But yeah, I do this whole thing where I cut out these hexagons, tape them down, and then I sew around the hexagons. I forgot how complicated this was, okay? Because the last time I did that cover was like literally 10 years ago. Never stopped thinking about it. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel the plastic off of both of these balls at once. But I like forgot how difficult it was, like how hard on your hand 
hands it is. So for my Hobonichi planner, I've been wanting to do the cover like that all last year. Never had the time, never had the time to do it. Um, and so this year on like New Year's Eve, I was like, I'm gonna start doing it. And oh my God, you guys, I did not know that the Hobonichi Techo cover like the actual cover of the planner is so much thicker than the Wreck This Journal cover. And oh my God, just like punching the holes to be able to do the stitches. There have been a couple gruesome thumb experiences, which I will spare you guys from now. Also, I'm definitely gonna have to have put a timestamp in here just in case y'all did not wanna hear. Decorating my planner cover story time. You can just jump to this part where I'm hopefully about to get this wrapper. You guys, I started peeling the mini brands wrappers off using tweezers and it's honestly a great thing to do because then it doesn't usually end up like this wake up in there okay so let's go ahead oh so here we go this is how all mini brands are now this is the list We'll take a look at that later. So up first, one of the surprises is a birth certificate. Uh. Birth certificate. This certifies that blank was born at blank. Oh, blank AM. What if you're a nighttime baby? I was not a nighttime baby. I was oddly enough a 9 AM in the morning baby. Which is like really weird, you know, because I am like not a morning person. I don't know if that's supposed to like influence what kind of person you're going to be. Y'all, I have three envelopes down here. I know that this is like definitely going to count as one because this is kind of like the whole sticker thing. Where are the other four? I don't know. Let's just open up. Okay, <gasps> this is definitely the spongy little baby. So we'll save that for left. Oh, is this the spongy baby? I don't know. Let's open this one. This also feels suspiciously spongy. Y'all, I'm suddenly having like a deep memory in my brain. There used to be a toy like in the 90s that was like these little paper packets that you soaked in water. Does anybody remember that? <gasps> Ew, this one is so cute. At least this item is, oh my God, it's a little teddy bear, you guys. A little tiny teddy bear. And then we have this, which I literally don't know. Somebody that knows anything about babies, tell me like literally what this is and why it's rubbery. There's like this spa neck pillow back here and we have yellow dots. And this also feels like silicone. It kind of, you know what? Like from here, craft single. No, looks like a piece of cheese. And then we have this adorable little burrito wrap. I don't know. There's a cute little cloud on it and it looks like it has Velcro. I don't know why I said that so ghastly. All right. And then we have this. See, I feel like that's already like four surprises. Oh my God, you guys, it's a whole crib. It's a whole crib. I'm gonna be honest, I did actually get three of these and I did actually unbox it on Snapchat the other day. This is the quality. This is the quality. Like, and I'm gonna have to relook it up again because I swear these are no more expensive than like the fashion mini brands or the sneaker mini brands. Look at how many amazing items that you get. I'm about to assemble this whole thing. Furniture, all of this stuff, and a birth certificate. You know, like I feel like these remind me of the OG mini brands where you got so many like cool, amazing, like well-built items. Let me assemble this and then we'll open the baby. My gosh, look at how cute this is. And honestly, this feels like really high quality. I mean, I know it's a miniature item, obviously, but look at this. I'm gonna show you guys. It actually like rocks as well. It's got like a rounded bottom and you can just go like that. Like this is honestly amazing quality. Like I'm trying to remember when was the last time you got something like so nice in a mini brands thing. So you're supposed to put this little thing, which already has a little piece of my hair attached to it. That's how you know it's like silicone. You're supposed to put this in the bottom. So I guess that's what this is, is like a crib base, crib mat. I don't know. All right. Oh, I should have the birthing knife. Bring forth the birthing knife. <gasps> 
Oh, look, I should have like done that up close. Oh my God, look at this. You know, it is very squishy, very, very squishy. This is actually really impressive. Can you guys see the face? It has like painted on face, painted on hair, but I'm really impressed with the details of this. You know, cause like sometimes we've seen Shopkins or mini brands or something before where like the face will be like stamped on kind of wonky, which obviously like would not be as cute on a tiny little reborn baby, but the details are actually painted on like quite well. So the one that I got the other day did have a little diaper and I kind of wish that all of them did at least come with a little diaper. Like this little like burrito wrap thing is cute but I just feel like compared to the size of the baby it's kind of like large you know what I mean? But like literally no complaints like why not this quality for everything? So I did see a a lot of people commenting, I don't remember where, that these are like Barbie sized as well. So let's see if Princess Ferb here, she has Barbie arms and legs. Look, she has a, oh, she has a baby. Look at that. that is, I feel like that is proportionately Furby Barbie sized. So cute. So obviously, well, not obviously, maybe y'all don't remember, but in the past I have made some videos about like tiny reborns that I was able to get on like AliExpress and stuff, but those are like in a really weird kind of gray area, I think. So I have been able to get larger reborn dolls for like $6, $9, $20, whatever. But I feel like this is actually really good. I feel like a lot of people will love this. I kind of wish that these were here in time for Christmas because, oh my God, y'all, every year I get tagged in so many videos where people unfortunately Unfortunately, like got scammed by like reborn things or avatar babies in particular. So let's go ahead and just put him in his little crib with his little bear. So y'all can kind of see the whole picture. He is probably fall out immediately. So, oh, there you go. This is beyond adorable. You guys, I'm, I'm talking too long about this. Last baby. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully it's not a repeat. It feels different. All right, we'll look at the chart when I'm done with this. Once again, birth certificate. Is this a PM baby? No, AM, always. This feels like it's the baby. Oh, I do kind of think that this is gonna be a repeat. Oh my gosh. I kind of wish I would have opened like th this one on Snapchat and then the other one because I'll show y'all the accessories. Oh, <gasps> different. Like kind of same, kind of different. Amazing. So this does have the same silicone kind of mattress pad, but instead of a teddy bear, we got two little things of lotion, which I love these as well, because I feel like this is the energy that I was missing with Fashion Mini Brand Series 3. A lot of the makeup cosmetic type miniatures that I love to add to like my Remint collection as well of cute beauty products. And then we have a star instead of a yellow cloud. Wasn't it a cloud? Yeah cloud we just got so this time we got a star this like really did not feel like a baby bed though but i'm assuming it is is this the exact same thing no Ooh. <gasps> we got something completely different and i don't know what this is so let me assemble it <laughs> At first I was like baby bookshelf, but I guess this is supposed to be like a baby changing thing. Baby bookshelf. Either way, I feel like this is super cute because look at how it like literally even has little compartments. Look at this, you guys. This actually in a way like clips in to this station. Y'all, whoever like was part of their department and like designed these, they really, really cared. Like literally look at how cute. Once again, am I gonna be able to balance this? I do not know, cause my hands are like so shaky today. Oh, well, no, I don't know. I can't get the bottles to really stay, but like you get, you probably get what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to like set up the little bottles. Like I feel like you could really display 
this. And I feel like this is also like really good because I feel like this is a little bit of a time consuming thing again. I feel like I used to always say that about like the original mini brands when you'd have to like really assemble the shopping carts, the shelves, you'd have to like put little stickers. Like I feel like it's almost a miniature little like craft or activity like that would take longer than just like ripping open packages. You know what I mean? So let's see. I got another baby. Baby. Is it the same baby? <gasps> I kind of can't tell. It looks slightly different, but the expressions are all the same. The poses are all the same, but super, super cute. Once again, the only thing I'm missing is the diaper. Just because I feel like that's what reborns of this size, like they're a little bit more difficult than say like my original Avatar baby or something where you can like literally go to Target, Walmart, whatever, go into like the premium section and you can just get like real baby clothes for them but all of these like small tiny reborn dolls that I have they are a little bit more difficult actually they are a ton more difficult to find like any kind of clothes accessories yada yada for them so here is this little baby on the changing station so yeah that's like literally my only tiny critique here is I wish that they gave you one piece of clothing honestly instead of like ever giving these things because I mean these are really cute but at the end of the day it's like basically a scrap of fabric I feel like this would be so much easier to DIY I'm really hoping that people are gonna love these and that there's gonna be more seasons and series of these because I feel like maybe next time they should just do away with like this kind of stuff and always like maybe they could make like you know not super sophisticated like clothing or something but maybe like a onesie or like a diaper each time because I feel like once again probably anybody could just cut a little square of fabric and then put a piece of velcro on it whereas I feel like it would be much more difficult to make like a tiny diaper so I'm gonna run downstairs so I can get the other baby that I opened the other day so y'all can see the diaper and I want to show y'all like the really cute because I like oh my mind was blown let me just before I'm gonna hold on to that thought in my own head oh my gosh I just ran up the stairs ran down the stairs ran up the stairs but look at this also you guys that's honestly good for me I'm trying so hard <laughs> to get at least 10,000 steps a day. But you guys, we have been under tornado warnings all day today. Tornado warning. So needless to say, <laughs> running up and down the stairs, that's like the exercise I'm getting today, I guess. But see, look at how cute. This is the first one I opened. This is the little diaper. I don't know why I assumed like just each and every one would come with a diaper. Um, This one, like the little extra accessory was a little bottle. Very cute. So that's the only other thing is I do kind of wish like the mouth opened on some of them because then like you know the little bottle that would make more sense but look at this you guys I could not believe like this was the extra little furniture thing so this was the first part that I opened and it's a little I don't know hand hand basket and then I opened another part and then this whole thing like goes into a stroller it sits right in there but like look at how nice and sophisticated this is. The wheels turn. I feel like somehow, I don't know. I feel like the balls are the same size, maybe just a little bit larger. Cause I'm like, dang, I don't even feel like the original like carts or shelves or anything like were this complex and this large, you know what I'm saying? I guess I don't even have that much more to say except for I'm just so, so excited about these. And I feel like these in turn have made me like more more excited about future mini brands collections just because I feel like this is a huge like turnaround in terms of like quality how much you're getting for the price point the quality of the items at that price point and you know I feel like all the time when I've done the tiny reborn unboxings I kind of compare these to like little fidget things in a certain way because I feel like these can be like really helpful like if you you just need a little thing in your purse, in your pocket, whatever. But I feel like these more than ever make so much sense for something like that because these are truly like pocket size. They're very, very cute. And I feel like they're kind of like the perfect texture of a reborn of this size because you don't want them like too, like I guess soft or squishy or something because I feel like then they would be like really easy to tear. I feel like these are like perfect quality, honestly. These little things 
things super, super cute. And I'm really only excited, no complaints. I wish they'd done Mini Brands Fashion Series 3 with this much thought and TLC and care. Anyway, you guys, I guess that is it for me today. I am so excited to hear all of y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Uh, are these the world's smallest reborn now? I feel like I did a video like that like years ago where I was like, well, this is the world's smallest. Is there any reborn smaller than this? I don't know. I don't think I have any in my collection that are smaller. Than this. I'm like, I'm trying to scan my brain. A lot of people on Snap have been requesting for me to do an updated Reborn collection. I don't think I've ever done like an entire Reborn collection. I think I just did like monsters and aliens. Ever since like I was kind of shopping for a while on AliExpress and Timu and all of that, I got some more like normal Reborn dolls just to like see the quality of them and all of that. I wish somebody would make like a tiny avatar doll like that because y'all anytime I see those stories where it's like all a kid wants for Christmas is like an avatar reborn doll and then people like just get scammed all the time with like plastic fake baby dolls that they then get charged like $200 for oh my god anyway now I have rambled even more but thank y'all so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and until I see you guys again which is gonna be very very soon stay happy stay healthy stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.